Craig, it's sweltering conditions. I guess days like this, you'd be pleased to be a goalkeeper. Uh, weirdly enough, yeah, well, yeah, in the sense that you're not running around, but I was stood in a, a tight thermal for 90 minutes, so I was I was very hot. Don't get me wrong, probably not as warm as the lads out on, that are running around, but yeah, it's one of them days where you have to pick and choose your moments of when to go and attack, because ultimately, to do it for 90 minutes non-stop in conditions like this, you, you're going to fatigue very, very quickly. So it was a, it was one of them cat and mouse types of games. On top of the weather, it was a difficult test this afternoon. Yeah, they're a good side. They've obviously had a good start to the season, much like ourselves. Um, they keep the ball well. Um, so we had to pick our moments of when to force them into certain areas of the pitch to then take the ball from them and go on the attack. Um, on the whole, I think a, a draw was probably a fair result in the end. Both teams had good chances. Um, but yeah, it's a point in the right direction against a good side and we now need to make three points next weekend to make it a good week. Is that the general vibe in the, in the changing room, please, with the point against a good team? Um, no, obviously, we, we always want to win games of football, of course you do. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, like I said, we've, both had, we've had good chances in there without really hitting the target. Um, but at the same time, it's a point to add to the tally and then we kick on and ready for next weekend. 1-1 one, one for most of the second half and then big chance at both ends, you keeping out Macaulay Langstaff for the great save. Yeah, that's what I said, like I said at the start, when you, when you have to pick and choose your moments and a game of football is, is one of them. It only takes a couple of seconds for, for, for it to change hand. They've had a big chance at the end and we've gone straight, like you said, the other end, we've had a big chance. That's, it's a game of fine margins and neither team scored and it ended up being a draw but it could very easily have been the opposite. Are you looking forward to coming up against someone like Langstaff today? Do you research strikers, watch them score goals? I mean, there'd have been plenty to choose from. Um, yeah, you obviously watch um, certain things about how different strikers play, how different teams play, what are their strengths and weaknesses. Um, I like to see how teams play in terms of set pieces. Are they a team that like to work things? And it's not just me that does this, it's the team. But obviously, last season, he's mostly. 42 goals he scored, so you obviously know he's he's he's, he's a goal scorer. Um, but yeah, it was it was him in front of me that I ended up denying. But I wouldn't say I got any more of an accolade, any more of a buzz out of the fact it was just him. Because ultimately, for me, a striker is ultimately a striker, and my job is to stop the ball going in the net. Fair enough. Thanks, Greg. No problem. Yeah. Um, when we last spoke, we were talking about the goalkeepers' union and, and your friendly rate, uh, com competition with yeah. with Nathan. Yeah. There's a new goalkeeper in your uh, in your union now. There is, yes. Um, unfortunately, yeah, for Nate, he's obviously picked up an injury, which is a real shame for him. He's a young lad that's it was a bit of a weird one, really. I don't even quite know how it actually happened. I was at one end of the pitch and he was at the other, and then before I knew it, he went off the pitch. But, yeah, we've obviously got Mickey in. Um, don't know a lot about him, which is, which is quite nice, because yeah. ultimately it's a, it's a new person that I've never worked with before. So... Yeah, it's, it's nice to have a friendly face, another another goalkeeper to the union, and yeah, hopefully we uh, we bounce off each other. Um, what happens when when there's a player injured? Do you, do you sort of hang around him and try and boost their boost their morale and, and sort of help him help him through it that way? Yeah, I obviously I think I've said it before. Like with Nate, I obviously know him from from previous clubs. Um, he's like a little brother sort of figure to me. Do you know what I mean? He looks up to me as the older figure, and ultimately if I can be there to help support him as best I can, then I will. Um, he obviously rang me earlier to tell me the news, which was, which was obviously not great news to hear. But I'll obviously be here as a, as a head to, a shoulder sorry to, to lean on if he needs me, and I'm sure he'll bounce back from it and come back stronger.